We told you that this was basically becoming a Kyle Sluter as well as New Orleans Breakers USFL channel. It is what it is. But uh, Minnesota Fighting Vikings former preseason legendary quarterback Kyle Sluter has recently been named to the USFL team. All USFL team. Whatever. Nailed it. So he is the QB of their equivalent of the All Pro, pro team, uh, leading uh, the New Orleans Breakers to a six and three record, as well as a spot in the playoffs. And you know the fact that Sluter. Well, we'll get into Sluter stats a little bit. Some of them a little bit underwhelming, but he's shown off some of the bravado, some of the things that made uh, Vikings fans fall in love with him. He's a gamer. He's a baller. He's a shot caller. And can he rip off a championship one time? For the breakers, one time for the kids, man. Uh, just looking around, uh, Darius Victor, Reggie Corbin, uh, the two all USFL running backs, uh, Victor Bolden Jr. all up in there, Jared Thomas along the offensive line. Maybe the Vikings could sign him. Who really knows? Uh, defensively, now there's a couple of defensive players that will get a shot in the NFL. Actually, in fact, I think there will be a handful of USFL standouts that will be added to 90 man roosters, uh, as well as two of the all USFL defensive team players, former Vikings legend. Uh, themselves. Toby Johnson uh, spent 2015-2016 with the Vikings, the former University of Georgia product, uh, as well as uh, D, D. Marquise Gates had a cup of coffee in training camp with the Vikings in 2020. So, I mean, the Vikings we're, we're just a uh, we're just a breeding ground. We're, we're just a we're just an incubator for USFL talent, man. So, you got Toby Johnson, you got uh, D. Marquise uh, Gates, as well as you got Kyle Sluter. That's right, man. That's right. Uh, and uh, again, looking at his stats. So yes, through nine games, they have a 10 game regular season. He's leading the league in passing with 17, uh, uh, 1,798 yards. He's only completing 57.7% of his passes and uh, he's thrown nine touchdowns, but he's also thrown 11 picks uh, and his quarterback rating. It's currently off screen. His quarterback rating is 112.3. Uh, and that's not even in the same uh, area as guys like Case Cook is an, another former Vikings legend or Luis Perez, uh, formerly of the Rams, uh, etc. But like we said, it isn't always all about uh, how pretty it is. It's all about getting that win, getting that W. Uh, and the New Orleans Breakers are heading to the playoffs. Uh, they'll be taking on the Birmingham Stallions. Now, they should have beat the Birmingham Stallions earlier or earlier in the season but you know sometimes poop happens right you can't get everything uh absolutely correct but uh Kyle Suter if he can have a run if he if he uh, uh if he tames the Stallions and then whoever wins between the Stars and the Generals if you take him down a peg or two and then all of a sudden he's hoisting that equivalent of a Jerome Barty at the end of the USFL season I, I do think that Kyle Suter will find himself on, on a roster now probably not going to be the Vikings uh, even though uh, would you have competition between QB4 between Nate Stanley and Kyle Suter? I mean, maybe, uh, but I, I could see him getting a camp invite somewhere. I mean, 32 teams out there, 90 players, that's beep, bop, up, boop, boop, like what, 3,700 players, roughly, more than that. Uh, so I, I do think that Suter and a bunch of these standouts uh, in the USFL deserve another shot uh, at glory and deserve another bite at the apple. E again, even if it's just 90 man, even if they're just scraping by trying to get on a practice squad, I think they've shown enough moxie. And overall, I think that the football product for the USFL has been pretty solid. Plus, I, I like that it's been a testing ground uh, for some of these new rules uh, that could uh, find their way to the NFL. Like, who wants to go for three? Let's go, baby. As well as the onside kick rule, love that as well. I think the NFL should adopt that uh, in short order. But uh, that's it. Uh, former Vikings preseason legend Kyle Jerome Ezekiel Sluter. It's a Dutch pronunciation. Named to the all-USFL team. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.